I'd say he's a pretty quiet and reserved bloke. It's hard to get things out of Kane. He could score 345 not out, and he turned around and he'd say, yeah, but I was doing it for the team. You might like to say, Kane, you're outstanding today. Please tell me you were, you were pleased about the way that went. Through it all, he's, he's got this mental steeliness that his face belies. I think behind that, under that beard, there is a, a pretty tough jaw. Once every four years do you get the opportunity to play in a World Cup, let alone to get to the, the final stages. So um, I suppose from uh, our team's perspective, it, it kind of starts now or starts again. It's been very challenging as a, an individual and as a team. Uh, for us, we want to look at our own performances as a group. And yes, we would have liked to have been better. It is the way it is and guys need to think on their feet chasing on, on those surfaces that we're wearing were, were very difficult, but um, all in all, we were outplayed by the opposition in those last couple. We do want to be better as a group um, and smart, but not get too carried away with perhaps the last two or three performances. If you listen to Kane Williamson talk, it's about the team and everyone else in the team follows suit. I think What's important as a leader is, is trying to connect with the, the group that you have and trying to move in a, in a common direction. And I think if you can do that and you get buy-in from the people around you, then you, know, you can achieve some pretty cool things. You know, ultimately, it's certainly not about me or, or you or anybody else. It's just about what you can do for your side. He's been head and shoulders the best player by New Zealand in this tournament. One player has scored a third of the runs, basically. It says a lot about the other guys, but it also says a lot about Kane because, again, he accepts that responsibility. In the run chase situation against South Africa, hugely important game for New Zealand. I kind of think you saw his personality the best there. If he's at the crease, most situations are under control. He's so organised, it's ridiculous. Like most great players, he just has, seems to have that element of time. Just that one more beat. Small in stature, slender man, absolute giant of a cricketer, giant of a New Zealander. When he's done and dusted, he will be undoubtedly the best ever player New Zealand has had. We're here in the semis and it's two games away. Every team uh, that's left, without a doubt, believes that they can win the World Cup. You know, it comes down to the last couple of games and, and anything goes.